So question 27 was in the diagram below, triangle ABC is isosceles and triangle BCD is equilateral. Angle A, sorry, angle BAC is equal to 40 degrees. And you need to look at the and the diagram below, which has got two triangles, and you need to take to take note that you know all the details, okay? And then the question is find angle A, B, D, okay? So let's identify this angle we are asked to find. So the angle we are asked to find is this one here, where with the arc the the red arc there, which I will name it X. That's the angle we are asked to find. Okay. So for us to find the answer very well without difficulties, what we are going to do is we are going to dismantle this diagram so that we come up with the two angles that are being stated in the statement so that we were able to, to, to find their angles exactly. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the other triangle there and the other one down here now let me talk about the first one i drew okay first let me remove this the second one let me talk about the first one the first one is the one which is described as isosceles triangle which is angle a b c okay and that is a bigger angle and it has got in, um one angle given which is 40 degrees okay so this is the triangle. You can see the side which is AC and the side AB, they are equal. That's why you can see those short lines crossing them. Okay. <coughs> now we come to the second triangle. The second triangle, which is angle D, angle B, C, D, angle B, C, D, which is equilateral. So an equilateral triangle is a triangle with equal sides, okay? So this uh, type of a triangle has got equal sides. That's why you can see those two lines in all the three sides of this triangle. It says these sides are equal, okay? So these are two triangles that are given. So what we're going to do, for us to find angle A, B, D, we are going first to find the angle of each triangle the angles of which triangle so let's start with the triangle a b c now in triangle a b c um one angle is given and we are told this is isosceles triangle so let me first state the properties the property of isosceles triangle that we are going to use to help us find the other angle before we go any further let me name these angles as angle x and angle y these are the two angles we want to find so i've named them angle x and angle y so therefore let's go to the property of an isosceles triangle or angles in an isosceles triangle so in isosceles triangle two angles are what are equal okay in this isosceles triangle two angles are equal so mm, in, in, in our case, angle X and angle Y are what? Are equal. Angle X and angle Y are equal. Therefore, we can call them as X's. Okay? All the angles, two of them, we can call them X. So this is angle X. Angle A, B, C is given a name X. And angle B, or yes, B, C, A, or A, C, B. Is also called the X because they are equal. That's why I've given them one name so that it can even be easier for us to come up with a formula that we can use or an expression that we can use to find the, their value. Okay, now since they have got the same name, now we can go ahead and solve. So we can say uh, 2X plus 14 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Okay. 2x plus 40 is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, we can now, there we can put like terms together. Remember, I want to find the value of x. So, in the, in the, in the triangle, wherever there is x, we are going to put in that value we are going to find. So, 
We are going now, we, when we come back to our expression which have 2x plus 40 degrees is equal to 180 degrees, then the next step we're going to do is to put like terms together. So we're going to have 2x is equal to 180 degrees minus 40 degrees. Okay? Then, once we have done this, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to... <coughs> To find the difference of 180 degrees and 40 degrees so we're going to write 2x is equal to what is the difference of 180 degrees and 40 degrees we're going to find that when you subtract 40 degrees in 180 degrees we're going to get 140 degrees now here we want to find the value of x that means we need to get rid of 2x so what we're going to do is we're going to divide both sides by 2 so 2 there as well as there are two. Okay, so 2x divided by 2 will give us x, or uh, 2 on top is cancelled and 2 down is cancelled, leaving us with the x. Then 2 or 1 divided by 2, it can't, so we take 4 to 1, so it becomes 14. 14 divided by 2 will give us 7, then without a remainder. Now you can see that we haven't used the zero. That means the zero will come to the quotient, which is which will become seventy degrees. Okay, so the the the, the value of x is seventy degrees. In case you're wondering where is one hundred eighty came from, one hundred eighty came from. We all know that uh, the sum of interior angles of a triangle add up to one hundred eighty, or is one hundred eighty. So that's where one hundred eighty came from. Okay, the total sum of interior angles of a triangle is 180. Okay, so now we come back to our answer, which is x is equal to 70 degrees. So where there is x, we're going to put in 70 degrees and there 70 degrees. So now we know that <coughs> the value of x is 70 degrees. Now, this is the bigger triangle. This is triangle ABC. Okay, so we're going to indicate these degrees were found on the uh, on the actual diagram we are given there, which contains two. So let's start. This is the triangle. It should it should start from that line, line AC to line BC. I don't know. It just it just malfunctioned there. It's supposed to be there on top, starting from there on top from the line AC to line um, to line BC, okay, which is 70 degrees. Then again, that triangle, okay, from line um, AB to line BC, and that is also 70 degrees, okay. Now we have found the value of uh, those angles from line AC to line uh, <coughs> to line BC, okay? And line AB to line BC, okay? Now that is the value of those angles. Now let's go to uh, the second triangle. Now this second triangle is the triangle that is uh, the inside triangle, which is angle, triangle, D, B, C, triangle D, B, C. Okay, I'm sure you're able to see where D is. Okay, that is the letter D, just near 40 degrees there. Even if it's small, it's in between, that is D. Okay, so we're going to uh, find the, the, the angles of this triangle. Okay, now in the statement, we are told that triangle B, C, D is equilateral triangle. Okay, so it is a equilateral triangle. That means uh, all angles in a equilateral triangle are equal. Okay, all angles in a equilateral triangle are equal. So therefore, we are going to use this property to find the value of uh, the, 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 the angles of this equilateral triangle. Okay, but this should be uh, in your mind every time. You should know that uh, equilateral triangles are uh, 60 degrees. It should be just be in your mind. You don't even need to calculate. You need just to know it. That in a equilateral triangle, all angles are equal and they are equal to 60 degrees. Okay. So what we're going to do here, we are going to name the angles. So X, Y, Z. 
Okay. Now, since we know that uh, angle X, Y, Z, they are equal, okay? Angle X is equal to angle Y, which is equal to angle Z. So, since all angles are equal, we are going to give them one name, which is going to be Y. I'm not going to use X because I used X already, so I'm going to use Y. So, I'm going to say this will become Y and that X on top will become Y. So, meaning this angle is made of equal angles. This triangle is made of equal angles or it has equal angles. So, which means uh, whatever value we are going to find for an angle applies to all angles. So, instead of writing uh, X plus Y plus Z, we are going to use a short way. We are going to say three Ys. Three Y is equal to 180 degrees. So in case we're wondering where 180 degrees is coming from, we are saying when you add all the three angles in a, in any triangle, whether isosceles, equilateral, scaling, or they add up to 180 degrees. So the interior angle of a of a triangle, the interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Okay, once we have written this expression, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to divide both sides by 3. Okay, then this side also by 3. Then 3 on top and 3 down will cancel each other. Or 3y divided by 3 will give us y. Okay, will give us y. Then 1 divided by 3, it can't. So 18 we are going to put 8 to 1, then it becomes 18. 18 divided by 3 will give us 6. Then we haven't used 0. That's why it has become 60 degrees. So the value of y is equal to 60 degrees. So therefore, we're going to say, uh, we're going to say, every y in that, in that triangle is equal to 60 degrees. So we can change even the, the values of y. So that is 60, and that is 60, and that is 60 degrees. Okay? So when you add those three 60s, they'll give you 180 degrees. Okay? Once we have done that, then the next thing we're going to do is now, we're going to indicate those angles we are found on the a diagram, the actual diagram in question, the one which has got two triangles. So uh, there we can say this angle is equal to 60 degrees and that angle is equal to 60 degrees okay and that angle on top is equal to 60 is equal to 60 degrees okay so now we have found that uh, those angles um those angles were found the other one the big the angles in a bigger triangle is equal to 70 degrees and those in a smaller triangle are equal to 60 degrees okay so now what we can do is we're going to pick one corner okay of the triangle so we can pick the one which is on the left side uh, where there is b we can look at that we know we have got the the angle which is big for that is 60 degrees and the angle which is uh, Smaller there is 60 degrees. The one which is big is 70 degrees. The other one which is smaller is 60 degrees. So what we're going to do is we are going to come up with an expression. Now when you look at these two triangles, before you come up with an expression, when you look at these two triangles, you will see that the difference of uh, angle ABC and angle uh, CBD is the value of angle A, B, D. Okay? Follow me. I will go slowly. The difference between angle A, B, C and angle C, B, D is the value of angle A, B, D. Okay? So we can write it here like this. We can say angle A, B, D is equal to Angle ABC minus angle CBD. Okay? So now let's come to find, finding the values. So what is the value of angle ABD? We don't know, and that's what we want to find. So I'm going to write ABD. Then what's the a, what's a value of angle ABC? Angle ABC is equal to 70 degrees. Then 
uh, minus so we're going to say what is angle CBD CBD that is 60 degrees okay then we're going to say angle angle ABD is equal to 7 degrees minus 60 degrees will give us 10 degrees so the value of uh, the value of angle ABD is equal to 10 degrees okay that's a value so this is how you find it i know you can uh, do it very fast but since I, I wanted you to see clearly and that's why i took this uh these steps i'm sure they have helped but if you was I, I wasn't explaining there was even no need of dismantling the diagram i can just since i understand i could have just been writing the expressions and just like that i hope it has helped however let me just correct a few things here Okay, we have this angle here, which is not uh, exactly the way it should be. This one here, the arc, it should be like this. And this bigger arc should touch there. Okay, it should touch there. Okay, and then the same thing happens to this bigger arc here. It should touch that line and that line, okay? All right, then I think those are the acts that did, were not in place. Otherwise, this is how the, uh, the, the diagram should look like. Okay, so you can see that uh, the arc in red are for the bigger triangle, which is uh, triangle ABC. And the uh, arc in, in orange are for the smaller triangle, which is, angle, to with his, which is triangle DBC. Okay, if that's clear. We, I can go to the next question. Otherwise, if there is anywhere you're confused, you can ask in the comment section. Let's go to the next question, which is question 28.